circuit from a 60 Hz sine wave oscillator that is quite stable and made with a 555 chip. Very popular, now used as a square wave generator and after that there follows a three pole filter that's here and then the uh, frequency is somewhat amplified. So let's pan over. I, I want to try to show the circuit at first in its completeness, but there's not so much light at the moment. It's evening. And let's pan over. In fact, all the units are very easy to understand. The 7812 is a voltage stabilizer that stabilizes the voltage to the 555 chip. That's the first part from the circuit. And the frequency is set with this capacitor. Of course, in combination with this potentiometer, anyway. Here it is 60 Hz. So this is the capacitor that sets the frequency. When you want to get to lower frequencies, uh, make the value from this capacitor higher. After the 555 has generated its square wave, it's sent into a three pole filter. That's here. Very easy to make. I found it out pure experimentally. And uh, it makes from a square wave a sine wave. Very simple. With some distortion anyway. But we sent that uh, sine wave into an an audio amplifier, in fact, on 50 Hz or 60 Hz, and here is the sine wave out. Easy to understand, and to make the sine wave more pure, I found out that I had to do some backcoupling. So here is a backcoupling capacitor that, in a certain way, makes the waveform very pure. 100 nanofarad. And you can see that the waveform is pure. The stability is okay. And I can, of course, uh, change the value from one potentiometer somewhat. And you can see we now go to 83 hertz. And here we go to 52 Hz and here 49 Hz, 46 Hz and you can see some deterioration from the waveform but it was made for 60 Hz and with 60 Hz there's no problem. So anyway, I think a good circuit, useful circuit. And of course, use foil capacitors, no ceramic capacitors. And here the circuit is on the breadboard. You can see now the stabilizing voltage chip 7812 uh, chip. It gives 12 volt out. The 555 oscillator is here. The frequency setting potentiometer is here. Here is the triple filter. And here is the transistor amplifier. Classic transistor amplifier, by the way. You can also use that circuit for audio, no problem at all. It only has to amplify 50 or 60 hertz. That's the reason why we use here an electrolytic capacitor and you can set the amplification here with the help of this potentiometer.